Hi folks, this is Jason. We're looking at our part 7 on skepticism and I just want to think about death <clears throat> and the nature of death and just to think about from a skeptic's point of view uh, and an atheist point of view and a Christian point of view. <clears throat> the atheist <clears throat> and the skeptics will tell you that they're the ones that face reality. They are the ones that want reason and evidence and uh, they're quite happy to be confronted with reality and if they're confronted with it and it's a fact they'll believe it and if it's not a fact they will not believe it but I think one of the issues that the skeptics run away from is the issue of death now I'm not saying that skeptics don't talk about death I've listened to uh, skeptics on blog TV shows where they have openly discuss the issue of death but from a day-to-day -day reality and a day-to-day -day lifestyle death is not considered or reflected upon and yet this is the one of the main central realities of life is that in life we are certain to die now if you look at all the world views from the history of thought if you look at the ancient Greek philosophers you know you had the Stoics who said life is hard we've got to really just grit our teeth and, and get on and then we die and that's it then you had the Epicureans who said we've got to enjoy ourselves have a happy life and get on and then we die eat drink be merry for we, for we die and yet you have the Christian perspective that says death is not the end Jesus died and he rose again he conquered death and if you believe in him you will rise and be with him and Jesus said I am the resurrection and the life so the question is whose position gives the best position on death and the skeptic is left with no answers to death even if it even if it paints a rosy picture of psycho babble counseling with with cotton wool counseling and psychology to try and help you or even if you took drugs to help you to not think about death the fact of the matter is death requires an answer and if you look at the history of human thought skepticism has not been able to give an answer basically you die that's the end we don't know that that for sure but all we know is that we just go and we go into the area of the universe by dust and that's it now some skeptics uh, are, are quite bold and they will come across and they'll they'll say I'm quite happy to you know it's a beautiful thing to die and I will put my have my dust and ashes spread in back into the soil and universe and you know that's the end of it no big deal but actually it is a big deal because when death hits you it's devastating and it tells us that it's not normal to be happy with death it's not normal death is not normal and that's what the Bible's teaching death is not normal and the answer to death is Christ that he is the one that died and rose again and the evidence is there if you want to seek it and as he died and rose again if you believe in him I am the resurrection of life you will be with God forever now if you put your money with the skeptics you have no hope in your death I'm not trying to scare you I'm just giving you the hard brute fact that you have no hope there is no hope for you but if you put your faith in Christ you have a solid foundation that you can stand on on your deathbed and that is a wonderful and amazing comfort to have for you and for your loved ones as well okay thank you